Ten things you can now expect from God. His ready ear to listen. Lord, Thou hast heard the desire of the humble. Thou wilt prepare their heart. Thou wilt cause Thine ear to hear. Psalm chapter 10 verse 17. He that planted the ear, shall he not hear? He that formed the eye, shall he not see? Psalm chapter 94 verse 9. His watchful eye, behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him. Upon them that hope in his mercy. Psalm chapter 33 verse 18. His forgiveness. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 1 John chapter 1 verse 9. For thou, Lord, art good, and ready to forgive, and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Psalm chapter 86 verse 5. His guidance and the Lord shall guide thee continually, and satisfy thy soul in drought, and make fat thy bones, and thou shalt be like a watered garden, and like a spring of water, whose waters fail not. Isaiah chapter 58 verse 11. Inner peace in your heart. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. John chapter 14 verse 27 And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 4 verse 7 His protection, thou art my hiding place, thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. Salah. Psalm chapter 32 verse 7. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Psalm chapter 91 verse 10. New power to overcome sin. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them because greater is he that is in you, than he that is in the world. 1 John chapter 4 verse 4 Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 Physical healing in your body. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities? who healeth all thy diseases, Psalm chapter 103 verse 3, and said, If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and wilt do that which is right in his sight, and wilt give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. Exodus chapter 15 verse 26. His consistency and faithfulness. But the Lord is faithful, who shall establish you, and keep you from evil. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 3. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And, lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Matthew chapter 28 verse 20. His wisdom for living. But of him are ye in Christ Jesus, who of God is made unto us wisdom, and righteousness, and sanctification, and redemption. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 30. Thank you and God bless.